here today, we will be touring this gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, house and lot for sale in Ayala Hillside Estates. But first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first, and follow us on Instagram at Priscello underscore official. My name is Julia, and welcome to another Priscello open house tour. For anything else, let me close the gate. Of course, John is gonna join me here inside. Bago masarhan. So from the front, obviously, we have an automated gate as well as a manual pedestrian gate. And when you enter, the first thing you will see is your three-vehicle car port. Very, very nice, right? And I love the fact that all of them are at the front of the property, so hindi niyo na kailangan mag money obra because all of them are just they can all just go out of the gate immediately and then you have this facade with so many textures and it's just so exciting to look at and this is we haven't even gone inside yet okay so this is the stairway leading up to your main entrance and already it has such an impression so you have your main door to the left and an outdoor area here on the right so this is where your pool is, along with your wooden deck. And I just love the color of this pool. It's a nice jewel tone kind of teal. It's, it's really something to look at. It's so cool to the eyes. And it's contrasted so well against the wood. Very, very gorgeous colors to look at. Of course, you have all of this greenery. And then here, you have more of the deck and you can see your sliding doors that will eventually lead you to your indoor area. But what's nice is it looks like a mirror, right? So you don't really see what's going on inside unless you open the glass itself. And then over here, you have a pathway that will lead you to the service area and the sink that's very easily accessible in case you want to wash your hands from the deck or the swimming pool. But we're going to explore more of that later. Oh, that's a nice little sneak peek. <laughs> and first, let's go in through the main entrance. Oh man, look at this. It's nice and geometric. Again, it goes so well with the rest of the house. Okay. High ceiling. If this is any indication about the rest of the house, you should be excited. Yes, this is nada. Actually, a lot of the woods that you're gonna see is nada. Dun palang quality na. Okay, huge solid wooden door as your main entrance. When you go in, you have your foyer. So you have this welcoming area, receiving area, and this little thing. It's an indicator that this is a smart home. So from here, you can control the lights, uh, the audio, etc. You can control a certain mood with one touch. So if you, for example, want good vibes, then all of the lighting, the music, the ambience, basically, is going to work together to give you the good, the good vibes that you have set. Okay, so from here, you can see your main stairs. But before we go there, Let's check out the rest of the ground floor first. So here you have your living area with a framed view of your swimming pool. How nice is it to just sit here and read a magazine or talk to your guests or family members? Just have a quiet conversation with that view. I don't know about you, but it is such a dream to be able to do that. That's where we came from earlier. That's uh, the path that you saw. And then over here, although you could definitely put some kind of furniture piece here. Ooh, imagine a motorino in here. Some kind of a vinyl player, right? That would be pretty cool. Some kind of um, mid-century piece furniture. But anyway, check out the wall though. We <laughs> have this beautiful mural. It's wallpaper, but wow, it looks so nice against everything else. Great intro for what's to come in this area. 
basically your dining and your kitchen. We have storage over here. And then, I was checking if it was modular. And then you have your dining over here. Currently an eight-seater. I think it's perfect. You have your solid wood and then your minimalist furniture. And then again, another glass sliding door. Huge, by the way. Just check out the width of this door, which you can open. And then if you have some seating outside, then you have an indoor-outdoor situation. And currently, look at the sun, the way the light is hitting this wall. You can already tell that this house is going to have so much drama. Actually, you know what? That's what we referred to it earlier. Dark and moody in the best way. Like imagine taking photos here. Oh, beautiful. And then, of course, you have your kitchen. And oh my goodness. It looks so sleek and clean and minimalist, right? And it looks so well lit. But if you really stare at the lighting, look at this one. It's just a bar. It's a, it's a thin strip of light, yet it casts such gorgeous lighting here on this surface, which, by the way, I don't know what this is, but it is amazing. It's nice and thin, but very durable. And honestly, it looks like the Trofeo outside. Like the color, the... the look of it wow it actually does remind me of the maserati but anyway this is a highlight or an accent surface in this entire kitchen because the rest are quartz and they are marble like with this sort of powdery matte finish and it's just so nice to the touch but again it's quartz and then you have dark or smoke mirror backsplashes here hello everybody <laughs> And then, yeah, it's glass, it's smoked glass. And then over here, you have a huge window right in front of your stainless steel sink. Then you have your built-ins over here, your coffee maker, your oven, and then of course your refrigerator. Oh my goodness, again, the lighting. It's just pin lights and bars. And look at this one, this shelf has a flush um, strip light over here and it just lights this area so well without looking heavy. It's beautiful. Okay, so from the kitchen, we have here a double action swing door. Solid wood, might I add, might I add with two glass panels to let you see if you're bumping into anyone. And then over here, you have your daily kitchen. And this is so adorable. You've got tiled floors with this very uh, vintage or a modern pattern, very reminiscent of mid-century again. And then storage, storage, storage in stainless steel, industrial grade stainless steel. Okay, hold on. I'll try to open, please. Look at that. The whole thing is industrial grade stainless steel. And then this is if I'm not mistaken, although correct me if I'm wrong, looks like graphic coat glass. Okay, so your sink, and then your refrigerator, and then your corner stove with a nice little breakfast nook. Solid wood for your bar. And again, of course, the fact that this is a smart home, you have access to that. And then you have a door that leads to the side of the house. So it's nice and open here, but you do have an awning that's nice and clear. It's tempered glass. Thank you very much. That's a, that explains why it's super clear. It's not acrylic. And then from here, you have stairs that lead you back out to your three-vehicle carport. And then, of course, to your staff quarters. And out here in the back, just so you see, you have the service area. Now, dito na yung abang for your washing machine. You have your built-in sink. And then, of course, more abang for your washing machine. So really, it's up to you. One appliance yung gusto nyo ilagay dito. And then you have a small gate. And then beyond this, you'll go back to the swimming pool. Ooh, that was a leaf. <laughs> okay. So let's go back in through this solid black door. Just look at the sun hitting the nice red stools. Art. Speaking of art, 
in case you missed the chiller. There's a chiller over there, wine chiller. Okay, so speaking of art, we have here this bookshelf. And yes, it's very modern, it looks very sleek. But what I appreciate about it is all the textures that you see. Hopefully you can see it. The shelves themselves are in this nice wooden texture. And then the back board is like vertical wood. But some of them are leather-like. Or leather. And then of course you have the light strips to illuminate the backboard so that you can actually see the things that you display as well as if they are empty, they still look great. Oh, and another. I like that it's hidden. If you had a stack of books here and it's just, yeah, it's hidden, that would be pretty cool. Okay, before we head up, check this area out. I don't know if you noticed, but there is a black door over here and this one will lead you to the office. It's a huge door. Okay, so still you have high ceiling. You have this huge window that overlooks your three-vehicle car port. A built-in desk with outlets, shelves, and then what you would think, a storage. But really, it is a storage. <laughs> but it's not as small as you think, right? It's actually huge. Actually, it's up to you if you want your files here or shoes. So whatever it is that you use it for, you have organized storage in your office. So let me open this about 33% of the way. So if I open this door completely, that would be all of you watching our videos and we truly do appreciate it. However, this little open part, the 33%, those are the only ones who are actually subscribed. Why? Guys, if you like our videos and you're enjoying them, please do let us know by liking and subscribing. That really helps us a lot so that we can finally open this door and I can reveal to you what's actually behind it. Okay, so in case you had a hard time like actually figuring out that, that was a black door, well, we still have a set of stairs down here that seems like a dead end, but have you noticed? But there are actually two doors down here. Yeah? This is the first one. And this one leads to the guest powder room. Ah, it's so beautiful! You have your sink, lots of counter space, and then your water closet with the um, flush button on the wall. And then mirrors all around. Hello! Gimatado. <laughs> You actually do have a window here over to the far left next to the um, sink. However, since it is, you know, the sun is starting to go down, you know, papa I don't know, but you do. So where is this other door? Is it here? It would look like it's there, but no, it's right here. Nice save. But it's pitch black because ilo. It's storage. So you have storage in your office, and then you have storage here under the stairs. It's a very clever use of space and design. Look at that. Look at how flush that looks. And it goes... It's like an effort to do other The full lines just to mislead you. I love it. But speaking of lines, look at the main stairs. Look at the detail of this Lara staircase. Okay? And I love how even if you don't have a handrail, it feels super safe because it's nice and why it's over and beyond the standard. But I'm not going to. And it's oh, I feel so solid. You feel secure. I love it. Ah, oh, wow! That sunlight is just pouring in and through all the vertical slats. It looks so. See, it looks so nice. Oh, by the way, the house actually faces the east, so the front of the house is morning sun, and then here is the afternoon sun, and wow. They really made use of the windows and placed perfectly like arranged slats for dramatic lighting. Anyways, so here on the second floor, you only have two floors, we have a lot of hallway space, and I want you to check out the floor. It's a mixture of nara and kamagong. I love how they created a pattern and a mixture of these two very durable wood. 
woods. Cool. <laughs> okay, still on the second floor, we have a very high ceiling, except this time it follows the shape or the slant or slope of the roof. You have some space over here for whatever it is that you need. You have an outlet, so you could probably put a kitchen in if you wanted, maybe a water dispenser, etc., snack bar, what have you. Okay, so spoiler alert, we have four bedrooms here on this floor and two of them are very special. But for now, we're gonna check out this area of the floor. So, ah, oh, my goodness. That slides so smoothly. Okay, so over here, we have the entertainment room or the family room. Again, that afternoon sun is hitting this area perfectly and it's not hot. Apart from the fact that there is air conditioning, yes, I know. But it's because you have a lot of trees in the background. You even have banana leaves covering the sun. So all it does is create these really dramatic shadows. Dark and moody eye in the best way. So again, you have the high ceiling, you have the interesting beams. You have a very modern ceiling fan. Works super well with the design of the house. And of course, you have the built-in entertainment system already here. It's up to you if you want a bigger TV, you could probably fit in a bigger one or a different style. Regardless, this looks amazing. Oh man, and these aren't just vertical steel bars, huh? There's glass in between. Can you imagine how this was made? Meticulous. Okay, so over to this side, we have two doors. Let's go through this one first since it's already open. And here we have bedroom number one. So we have the built-in wardrobe over here. So the front and the inner portion of the doors are of the same material, which speaks volumes. It's solid quality. And the interior itself is also covered. It's not just white, it's not just painted. It's all, they also use or use laminates, except this time it's in a sort of linen or fabric-like texture. Then you have windows, of course. You have space for the bed. You have your built-in entertainment and shelving, space for your desk. And this is the ensuite toilet and bath. I love how they didn't just close it off. They actually used a window in here so that the light coming from the front of the house, which again is facing the east, so the morning sun papasa video, creating really, really nice diffuse lighting. So in here, you have your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space with this mesmerizing tile. So most of the tiles used in this house are Italian tiles, including the one on the ground floor and here as well. And uh, look at that. Look, the nook has some cold lighting. Yeah, it's actually cold lighting in here in a mansion of Alubo. And it creates dramatic shadows in here. No detail is uh, left. Okay, so that's bedroom number one. Here we have bedroom number two. So the first thing you see is this hallway and the door that will lead you to the toilet and bath. So your sink, your water closet, and your partially enclosed shower space with a rain shower. Ah, look at this. Look at this mirror though. Nice and clean. And actually it reaches up to the ceiling, which again, still has high ceiling. No expense spared. And then over here, you have the bed area. What is a bedroom for, if not for the actual bed where you sleep? So it's just the perfect amount of space for your bed, your entertainment, your shelving, your desk, a few end tables, and your built-in closet. Keep everything neat and clean. The solution is done, storage. So you have a pro appropriate storage for all of your clothes. Ah, oh, look at the drawers. Super nice. So you don't really need a lot of surfaces in your room if you can store your things properly. Everything in its place, right? Look at that. Keep it on layout. 
All right, and from here, let me go out the hallway. Look at that. Ang ganda niya kahit wala siyang laman. I think that's what I that's what I like about this house. You have this diffused gray wall. Again, it's that um, matte eggshell-like texture that just bounces light softly and looks great on its own. If you wanted to display some artworks or photographs, it would also work really well. But even if it was empty, like right now, for me, I'm gonna get big man. Maybe because it's not boring because you see so many lights, you see so many shadows, textures. It does contrast against the floor and the buildings. So we have more storage here on the hallway or in the hallway. There we go. So shelving and then bigger space down below. Definitely for luggage if you needed it. Then at the end, you have a huge window, two actually, but we're gonna explore this room first. And this is bedroom number three. And again, you have that really tall, uh, tall door, solid wood door. See that sound? Nice and solid. Okay, now bedroom number three is quite special. It's a loft. How often do you see a loft like this? And a well-executed one. So you have here in this corner, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's gonna be super bright if I pull this up, but it's a floor to ceiling window, afternoon sun. So that's gonna, again, create lots of light in this room when you open it. You have your bed over here with your custom headboard. It's um, padded with fabric, and then you have your switches over there already. You have your desk space. Aw, this is, this is cute. You have your bookshelf. You can put your entertainment and your TV. And then over here, you have the ensuite toilet and bath with your walk-in closet. So closet space, your sink, again with that huge mirror, your water closet, and then your partially enclosed shower space. Now this one actually uses a different kind of tile. Earlier it was like smaller waves, right? And these look like bigger petals or, or feathers almost. Or waves, it depends on how you look at it. And then awning windows up there. <laughs> I'll be honest, I love the fact that when you take a shower here, that I can do my just a water closet. I don't know about you guys, but this is weird. <laughs> Very practical layout. So, dito lahat waterproof um, surfaces. And then, when you cross over to the walk in closet side, nara na ulit and kamagol. Okay, I'm sure you're curious. Let's head up the loft. Even the glass is nicely made, tempered glass. It's just no sharp edges. Okay, these are solid steel bars. And then you have some solid wood planks over here that act as shelves. So you can turn this into a bookshelf. Have some decorative pieces here and there and that's gonna look fantastic. And then here you have a bay window with storage. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine living here as a teenager or young adult and just having your own nook, your own space here in your room with a huge window that's nice and quiet with the sun hitting you know, perfectly for you to read and stuff? I may be being super romantic, maybe not all of you are into that, but oh, man, this is beautiful. And then this side of the wall. It looks like fabric, it looks like linen. And then you have hidden storage over there. It's actually quite huge, it's as big as this wall. But <laughs> But this room has that storage. Oh man, just imagine having your friends over here. Super cool. Okay, and the last bedroom. Uh, again, the perfect size for a bed. So you have a queen-sized bed. No, actually, correction, king-sized bed. 
lots of space for a wider set of end tables or bedside tables. And look at this accent wall. It's beautiful. It's a thick and plush <laughs> padded wall in a blue geometric fabric. There we go. You have huge windows and this is at the front of the property. So this is morning sun. Oh my goodness. Imagine this in the morning. Well, it depends if you want the morning sun like waking you up or not. But regardless, you can just put nice shades. You can even automate those if you wanted to. And then check this out. I love also that they use this, by the way, just to demonstrate that you can have a minimalist television set here with minimalist stands. That's as it should be because you don't want to block this, right? And this is the door that will lead you to your enclosed balcony or patio up to you what you want to call it but you do have a view of the front of your property as well as the sunlight pouring in so morning sun and afternoon sun but it's not gonna hit you directly on galing and it's gonna bounce off of the light towards the room to fill it with natural light ah oh. so it's a perfect space for the bed an armchair and a day bed Right, and a slim TV. And then you have your built-in wardrobe over here. It's my favorite room. You know why it's my favorite room? But Julia, where's the ensuite toilet and bath? Good question. It's right here. You have a huge ensuite with lots and lots of storage. Storage over here, vanity, more storage, storage behind John. And then here you have the actual ensuite toilet and bath with your his and her sinks, your water closet over to this side, and then your partially enclosed shower on this side. And can I just say the marble that they used for this countertop is stunning. I don't know how it comes across on camera, but wow, it glistens. Medyo may pagka mother of pearl name dating niya with how it glistens. I don't know how to describe it, but it's beautiful. Oh, and I'm not even done describing all of the textures. And look at that. This is different from the one in the shower, from the storage. Hold on. Is it just... They're different colors. This is a moss army green kind of um, color and this is a bluish gray or am I just, is the light playing with me well whether or not that uh, might be in go the they look different so there's a nice play going on here thanks to the natural light and the artificial light well I am so amazed by this house I did them put go up ah and as you know I love a good secret door okay so that is it for the bedrooms but we still have one more floor to go look at this pathway going up oh man so you have wooden planks here for the deck you have concrete like tiles. Wow. This is a roof deck. You have lighting, you have seating, you have plants, you have a view of your neighborhood. Oh wow. This is the um, this is what's on top of the covered patio or balcony from the master bedroom. Wow, and then these are the Clara Story windows that you see from the second floor hallway, which means the fact that you can actually go in this area. It'll be easy to maintain and clean the Clara Story windows from here. That's so smart and gorgeous at the same time. I love it. More seating, perfect for entertaining guests. You have a built-in sink over here and another counter with an outdoor outlet. So you can definitely serve and prepare food up in here in case you wanted to have wine night here under the stars. Grab it, it's so 
quiet, so peaceful. Parang wala ka sa kaya sa city. It's amazing. Hopefully you can hear the birds. Oh, this is this is a stunner of a house. And then over here you can see the roof, like actual roof shingles uh, or um, tiles, and then the AC units for maintenance. Tagusha ang galing. Okay, that's enough geeking out. It's now time for a recap. Ah, just look at this. It's so ganda. Ah, ganda talaga nung ceiling. Oh, I forgot to mention those. You have the piped in music through those speakers embedded in the ceiling. Okay, so numbers. <laughs> you have 580 square meters of floor area spread over two floors. Oh, and a roof deck. And then you have 449 square meters of lot area. Four bedrooms, seven toilet and baths, a powder room here on the ground floor, just a few steps below the ground floor level, a swimming pool, a gorgeous dining and kitchen area, a daily kitchen, service area, staff quarters, a three vehicle car port, and again, as I mentioned earlier, a roof deck. And all of this, guys, is elegantly, neatly packaged in this very modern but warm home. Like it's modern, it uses a lot of uh, hard materials like concrete, steel, etc. But it's still so warm thanks to all of the nara and the kamagong that you see and even the mural of the huge banana leaves. And you actually do see real banana leaves around the house through your window, through the neighborhood. It's amazing. Speaking of neighborhood, this is in Ayala Hills Estate, Quezon City. So you're near Ateneo, you're near Miriam, Katipunan basically. UP and malls like UPTC. And, well, I guess in a way, basically North Malls like SM North, Ternoma, Burgess, etc. You should really, really see this house for yourself. So if you do, or if you know someone who wants to see this or see the video of it, send the link to them. But if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presolo.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presolo. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.